Well, today Mexico needed only a tie against Croatia to advance out of pool play and into the round of 16, but a loss would mean certain elimination for El Tri. And considering Mexico has qualified for the knockout stage for the last five straight World Cups, they clearly didn't want to leave anything to chance. Pick up this game in the second half late, scoreless in the 72nd minute. Mexico with the corner, and take a look at that finish from Captain Rafa Marquez. Unbelievable buried in the back of the net. Mexico up 1-0 a few minutes later. A little insurance on the counterattack. Andres Guardado with the finish. And take a look at manager Miguel Herrera celebrating. Mexico would also get a late goal from Chicharito. Another header, right man, right spot. Mexico wins 3-1. They finish 2-1 and one in pool play. They advance to take on the Netherlands in the round of 16. And talk about excited. Look at the crowds down in Mexico City that gathered to watch the game. Thousands cheering on El Tri and the elation after Mexico scored the first goal. No official estimates on how many people were out there against the Croatia in the Croatia game, but you can assume it's going to be even more on Sunday when they take on the Netherlands. Turning now to the host nation, Brazil, always seem, to, always seem to have some of those talented players in the world, from Pele to Ronaldo. This year, all eyes are on 22-year-old Neymar. He's turning, a, he's just got an unbelievable skill for such a young guy, taking on Cameroon, and the 22-year-old striker who plays for Barcelona had two goals, this one early, giving a Brazil 1-0 lead. A few minutes later, he would strike again, sort of a benign-looking play, but when you get the ball to him inside the 18, he's deadly. He had two goals. Brazil easily wins this one 4-1. They take on Chile in the round of 16. How about the defending champ, Spain? Even if they beat Australia today, they would not advance to be able to defend their title and they did get the win one of the best goals you're ever going to see 37th minute David Villa and this is probably the goal of the tournament so far the little back heel Spain wins 3-0 but they are officially heading home in the fourth game Chile versus the Netherlands facing off to decide who would win group B scoreless in the 76th right off the bench for the Dutch though Leroy Fair with the header no doubt about that one they would add another one they win 2-0 they win group B going a perfect 3-0 Mexico will certainly have their hands fill on Sunday against the Dutch. And finally tonight, less than 24 hours after their heartbreaking tie against Portugal, the U.S. men's soccer team, they were right back at it, working out in preparation for Thursday's game against Germany. They're going to need a win or a tie to advance into the knockout stage. So there's a lot of work for them still to be done. they got to get back and get some fluids, get back in shape after that game against uh, Portugal. Got to recover. Oh, my, you got to recover, exactly. Yeah. It's like 90 degrees, 80% humidity down there. Very. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, they can actually lose that match and still make it in with some help from the other There's teams. a lot of different weird math that can go on. Exactly. Combinations, and exactly. I would say get a tie or a win and then it's guaranteed. Just, just win by three. Exactly. Don't even, don't against, even mess with it. Against the Germans who are supposed to win the whole yeah. thing. Yeah, exactly. They're, not, they're overrated. <laughs> anyway, we'll be right back.